Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. I trust the Lord everyone is well in good health and happiness uh, amidst uh, the crisis and situation around the world. Praise the Lord. Yesterday morning I preached on never give up. Amen. Never give up. Praise the Lord. And I would like to continue this morning. Let me just lower my phone. I don't want to ask to come through right now. Yes. Uh, yes. Never give up. And this morning my topic is uh, hungry for justice. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, let's have a word of prayer this morning. Praise God. Uh, Father God, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you thanks. I thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy and your great concern and the working of the Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray God this morning to dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Uh, anoint me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Uh, anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my mental faculties, anoint my thought process. Uh, I pray God that uh, the Holy Spirit will come upon me like a dove this morning. As I minister your words, I will minister on the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. For not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit said the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus I pray God this morning that you use mortal man of clay to minister your words as I minister your words it will go forth on the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed many will be saved many will be blessed many will be delivered many will be set free many will be encouraged from your words this morning into thy hands I commit your words and I commit my life and in Jesus precious name I pray Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord God bless you richly and once again I have a beautiful message for you this morning. Uh, that's a follow-up from yesterday. A follow-up from yesterday message. Uh, 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 yesterday message. Uh, never give up. And this morning the message is hungry for justice. Hungry for justice. Uh, and my topic is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-eight, uh, uh, verses six. And uh, it reads thus: uh, Is not this the kind of fasting I've chosen? To loose the chains of injustice. It's a powerful message this morning. It's not this kind of fasting I've chosen to loose the chains of injustice. Indeed, there are so many injustices around the world today. And there is so much injustice in our nation, in Guyana. Lots of injustice in our nation. And this morning I like to preach on uh, hungry for justice. Are you hungry for justice this morning, my friends? So many people have been harassed and for many months and during our election since the 2nd of March, almost 90 days. And when I think about those people who have been harassed so much unnecessarily for over 90 days, my heart goes out for those people who have been harassed, frustrated, laugh at, mocked at, and they have to try every strategy for their rights. And I pray God this morning that strength for all those people because God hates injustice this morning in the name of Jesus. I say God hates injustice and my heart is grief as a prophet of God to know what's happening. God has been revealing things to me in this nation and it's terrible. It aches the hearts of God, the heart of God to know what is happening in our beautiful land, in our beautiful nation. Things that is unnecessary, unnecessary because we have loving people in this nation. It's not ought to be in the mighty name of Jesus. And this morning I like to speak on the hungry for injustice. And the scripture is Isaiah chapter 8, chapter 50, verse 6. And I'll repeat that scripture this morning again. It's not this kind of fasting I've chosen to loose the chains of injustice. Does God ever hate church? Does God ever hate church this morning? Is God ever disgusted by worship service? Does God ever dislike an offering? Does God ever plug his ears when people pray and sing? Does God ever shut, shut his eyes when people fasting and perform rituals? The answer is yes. Loud yes. Angry, yes, God is angry with your with our nation 
Thus said the Lord, God is angry with this nation of Guyana at this very moment. God is angry. Listen to some of the things God says in the Bible. I hate, despise your religious fast. I cannot stand your assemblies. Oh, Amos 5.21, that's a prophet. Amos 5.21, the prophet says, Amos says, listen to some of the things God says in the Bible. I hate. I despise your religious feast. I can't stand your assembly. Stop bringing meaningless offerings and increase it distasteful to me. I cannot bear your evil assemblies. Your appointed feast, my soul hates this morning. They have become a burden to me. I'm weary of bearing them this morning, said the Lord. When you spread out your hands in prayer, I will hide my eyes from you. Even if you offer my many prayers, I will not listen. In Isaiah chapter 1 verses 13 to 15, it's not what, God, what I'm saying, but God is speaking to the nation of Ghana this morning. I says, God is speaking to this nation of Ghana this morning through his servant this morning. You cannot fast as you do today. And expect your voice to be heard on high. Isaiah 58 verse 4 says, Although they fast, oh, I will not listen to the cry. I will not listen to the cry. Instead, I will destroy them. Instead, I will destroy them, said the Lord. Jeremiah, the next prophet again speaker. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 12. Oh, that one of you will shut. Oh, shut. One of you will shut the temple doors. I am not pleased with you, says the Lord God Almighty. I will accept no offering from you. I will accept no offering from your hands. Malachi 2, verse uh, 2, 2, chapter 2, verse 10. Oh, no doubt, no doubt about it this morning. Sometimes God hates religion. I say sometimes God hates religion, my friends. Churches, church can angry him so much that he wants to shut it down. Church can angry him so much that he wants to shut it down. Oh, in last year, November, I had a dream. And when I had a dream in the middle of the night, and the Lord told me he has already fired 80 percent of the pastors all around the world and i says what and i wake up i couldn't have sleep and i wake up my wife out of a deep sleeper and i told her what the lord told me that he had fired 80 percent of the pastors all across the world and she asked me you're crazy oh hallelujah but i want to know i'm not crazy because i know what happened because a few months after the coronavirus came into this world and shut all the church doors you know why god is angry with the churches many are making it a business today many are doing it for a business uh, to collect the people money and to make themselves fat uh, and richer with god's people money and to, to buy airplanes uh, and helicopters uh, and build big mansions uh, and live luxurious life uh, and the people are punishing and starving many are using people today as a as a as a means uh, many are using the churches today oh for a form of, of, of income and nothing else uh, just using the people and that is why God told me and revealed his secrets to me this morning. Oh, many will be angry with me this morning. But thus said the word God of this prophet this morning. God has revealed to me that he has fired almost 80% 80, 80 of the pastors all across the world. And I've seen that with the coronavirus. Many churches are shut today. No doubt about it. Sometimes God hates religion. Churches can anger him so much that he wants to close it down. Oh, my friends. But it's temporal. God is merciful and in loving the churches will be open very soon because he's giving people a chance to redeem themselves he's giving people a chance to redeem themselves and to ask for forgiveness and to repent of their wicked ways oh your people need food this morning God people need food this morning. God people does not need entertainment and ritual and a program this morning. God people need the food and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Many people in the churches are not filled with the Holy Spirit. God revealed this to me. Many people in the churches are not filled with the Holy Spirit. And that is why when we make an altar call, half of the church is in front. Oh, headache and back pain and aches and pain and the demonic forces and demon possessor and so many different problems. Why? 
because they're not filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, church is weak up. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done. The people need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, stop playing churches uh, and stop playing rituals uh, and get the anointing of God and impart it upon the people that they will be filled with the Holy Spirit uh, and go in the rapture. Yes, my friends, uh, oh God is speaking this morning through his man servant. Uh, listen to every word I'm saying this morning. It will transform your life. Uh, if it was a preacher, if you're a pastor or a reverend or a bishop, uh, God will transform your life uh, and speak to you this morning through the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, wake up my friends, uh, let the church uh, revive. Uh, yes, let the church revive. Uh, there will be a new wave uh, of the moving of the Holy Spirit in the churches. Uh, yes, God is sent over sin. Uh, oh, a tremendous anointing. Oh, the last move of God will be so great. Uh, oh, many will be healed. Many will be saved. Uh, many will be delivered. Many will be set free as they hit the church doors. Uh, they will be completely healed. Many will come in without uh, legs uh, and the real legs will go up on their feet. Uh, they will come in without hands and hands will go upon their body or oh, they will come in without eyes and eyes gonna pop into the socket or oh, they will come in the deaf will hear the deaf will hear dumb will talk and the blind will see they will come in without cancer aids and all manner of sickness and pain and disease they will come in with stretchers and they will stand up like uh, oh, uh, uh, army sergeants they will come in with come in with wheelchair and walk out strong and healthy as how uh, oh, they never sick before yes uh, that move of God is coming to a world and that will be the last move of God are you ready church are you ready pastors God gonna restore you I am say God will fire hot fire you but God gonna restore you but you have to change your way set the Lord God Almighty you have to start oh fasting and praying and doing the right thing oh it's not about the money it's not about uh, the job it's about uh, it's about God's people it's about feeding them with the Word of God and and make sure they are filled with the Holy Spirit this morning. Oh God is speaking this morning. Yes my friends. Uh are hearing me? There are prayers that he can stand hearing, ceremonies he can stand watching, seasons of fasting that make him sick this morning. Are you making God sick this morning? God is sick with everybody this morning. God hates religion without reality. I says God hates religion without reality, rituals without relationship, uh, ceremony without sincerity. Oh, he hates your ceremony. He hates a. Uh, oh, he hates a ceremony. He wants sincerity. Yes, my friends, uh, he wants relationship. God hates personal pity. Oh, without just social justice, is there social justice this morning in our nation? He hates all religion that is uh, centered on self. Uh, without love of God, without love of God, and without love for others, uh, do you have love for others? Uh, you do have love for others. I don't think so. God don't think so. And God says it's no. There is no love. There is hatred in this nation. There is division in this nation. There is a, a there is division in this nation for the past fifty years, and God is angry for the past fifty years. There is racial tension and division and power trunk in this nation. The people need to live together and walk as one. Oh, we cannot. Oh, united we stand and divided we fall. And my friends, for the past fifty years, God angry is at the edge. Is at the edge right now. Don't make him curse you this morning as a nation this morning. Oh, that is why I want to know why the prophet Jonah was so angry with Nineveh. The prophet Jonah was angry with Nineveh and the prophet uh, oh, didn't want to go and release the curse. Uh, the prophet said destroy them. The prophet said destroy them. And when God said no, go and preach uh, the word of repentance. Uh, and Jonah tried to escape, uh, my friends. Uh, but this prophet will not escape. Uh, this prophet will not escape. This prophet will show mercy this morning upon this nation. And I pray with God to show mercy upon this nation of Guyana. Oh, my friends, uh, God going to show mercy and grace. Uh, and love to this nation but repent uh, repent uh, God hungry for justice uh, hungry for justice uh, and show justice this morning yes my friends uh, God hit personal pity yes he hates all those things this morning yes my friends uh, he hates religion that is self-centered oh God without love 
And without love for other people, I want you to love each other this morning. God said we must love each other. If a man don't love his neighbor, and he must love his neighbor as himself. A man must love each other. Yes, we must love each other this morning. He hates religion where people try to act like angels. Are you acting like angels? Stop the acting this morning. It's not Hollywood. Oh, it's the Holy Spirit. Stop the Hollywood and the Bollywood show in the churches. It's not a formality. Yes, it's Hollywood and Bollywood. You have the program and you have a few singing and you have a few dancing and you have a few scripture reading and then you build a picture and then you pass the common prayer and the pastor come and preach and you have to build a picture and then the pastor preach on the anointing and then you go home and that's it oh stop the ritual yes my friend stop the ritual he hates religion where people try to act like angels are you acting like angels this morning do special religion moments but act more like the devil oh but the, act more like a devil the rest of the week that's what's happening. People are coming to the churches today on a Sunday morning, spending two, three hours, and the rest of the week they act like a devil. They act like the devil and they behave like a devil. So much lies and so much hatred and so much anger and so much hypocrisy and so much deceit and so much confusion and so much corruption. And you cannot trust nobody this day. Yes, there's your deceit and your hypocrites and frustration and confusion in our nation. Oh, hatred tension is building up yes my friends uh, yes hallelujah feel feel fasting this morning God wants us uh, yes my friends uh, yes the Bible tells us uh, yes my friends uh, various situations when he fitted he fitted to, to, to fasting fasting can be valuable this morning I says fasting can be valuable this morning but we must uh, must fast in a way that draws us closer to God and other people this morning draws us closer to God fast that you can be drawn closer to God and other people and bind together in love and unity and walk in unity unity and unity and love this morning not in way that disgusts God are you disgusting God this morning, are you, are you discuss God this morning? God and God and divides us. Oh, God does want us to divide us further away from people, but He wants us to be closely drawn to people this morning. Few things are more disgusting. Few things are more disgusting to God or more damaging to people than this uh, disregard of justice. Uh, do you disregard justice uh, this morning? I'm speaking to someone this morning. Do you disregard justice? Uh, be careful if you disregard justice. Uh, remember what happened to Harold before Harold died. Uh, one week before he warm eat his body before he died. He was alive and worm was eating him. Be careful before the worms eat you before you die. I'm warning you this morning. God love justice don't disregard justice this morning God says I, I the Lord love justice in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 8 if you are not if you're not hungry for justice are you hungry for justice this morning? Then we are not really hungry for God. Are you hungry for God this morning? Are you hungry for justice? Or are you just putting on a show, going into the churches and kneeling down and praying and putting on a show? But God is looking at you with your eyes, skin wide open, and God is watching you, and God is watching you, and said, Look at this hypocrite. He's going to church and holding his Bible and kneeling on the altar and praying and do all sorts of man all sorts of, of, of lawlessness and he's doing all sorts of wickedness and they go to the church my friends that is wrong in the sight of God if you're hungry for God we also hungry for justice are you hungry for justice or are you hungry for fairness this morning or for the good of others are you hungry for the good of others this morning or are you hungry for treating them right this morning are you treating others right this morning are you harassing people? Oh, are you harassing people this morning? Are you treating them right this morning? Are you defending their rights this morning? Are you defending people rights this morning? Oh, or are you doing your own thing? You feel you can do anything and get off with God this morning. But God is speaking to this nation and God is speaking to people this morning. Oh, judge, oh judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. The children of Israel, oh, angry God. And God bring judgment to them and they put the plunge them into slavery and bondage and my friends I want to tell you we have to be careful don't make the wrath of God fall upon us this morning as a nation God love this country Guyana and my friends I'm warning you they don't make the wrath of God fall upon this country in, in Zechariah an ex prophet to say this morning Seven, the Bible tells us uh, of some people who have been fasting and have a question for God. God answered the question with the next question. 
Was it really for me that you fasted? Was it really for me you fasted? The whole nation fasted. But was it really for God they fasted? The whole nation went on a fast. Was it, was it really for me you fasted? God is speaking this morning. Was it really for me you fasted? In 7-5, God said they fast. Their religious activity is too self-centered. Your religious activity is too self-centered today. They're thinking more about themselves than about God. Are you thinking more about yourselves? and your wicked ways and what you want about God no you cannot push God button this morning you cannot push God button to do your wicked things this morning and about God's will for or the welfare are you are you doing preferring and fast, fasting for the welfare of others of other people oh my friends are you preferring and fasting fasting for the welfare of other people this morning or yourself are you self-centered this morning oh my friends God tells them administer true justice administer true justice I'm calling for those in authority to administer true justice this morning administer true justice show mercy and compassion to one another God says show mercy and compassion to one another do not oppress the widow or the fatherless uh, the aliens or the poor in your hearts uh, do not think evil of others this morning do not think evil of others uh, stop harassing people stop being bully bully bullying people this morning with these spirit people plugging their ears uh, and harden their hearts uh, to God call for justice this morning how does the Lord respond this morning how does the Lord respond this morning when when I call, they did not listen. When I call, they did not listen. So when they call, I will not listen. So when they call, I will not listen. God, when you call, God will not listen to your prayers. God will not hear you because God is angry with this nation. God is angry with this nation, says the Lord Almighty. And from the prophet Zechariah 7, 9 and 13, this is what the prophet says. God is angry with his people this morning. I'm saying God revealed to me that he's angry with this nation and I plead with God to save this nation. I plead with God to save this nation. Oh, save this nation. Oh, from dictatorship and bondage and oppression and destruction. This nation is heading for destruction. Take a you turn, turn your ways and humble yourself and accept the will of God. Yes, my friends, this prophet is speaking this morning. Isaiah 58 records a similar conversation of God with people who have been fasting oh, but feel frustrated oh frustrated they seem eager to know God and want him to lose oh to them yes my friends they have been fasting to get uh, get God attention and help uh, but it hasn't worked uh, are you fasting to get attention and God's help it will not work uh, my friend God seems as far away as ever God seems as far away as ever or far away as ever and they are having more problems than blessing. They are having more problems than blessing. Having more problems. Are you hearing every word I'm speaking this morning? It is a word from God for this nation this morning. They complain to God, why have we fasted and have not seen it? Why have we fasted and have not seen it? Because you're too wicked, said the Lord. Because you're wicked, too wicked, said the Lord. Your motives are wrong. Oh, what you're doing is angering God and God is not pleased. He is not pleased. Why have we troubled? Why, why have we humbled ourselves and have not uh, noticed? Uh, oh, Isaiah 53, 58 verse 3. Oh, they are fed up with the fasting. But God is even more fed up. I said God is even more fed up than they are this morning. God answered a complaint with a complaint of his own. God answered a complaint with a complaint of his own. Yes, my friends, on the day of your fasting, you do as you please and exploit all workers and exploit all others in the nation. You fasted. Your fast ends in quarreling and strife. Does your fast end in quarreling and strife uh, or and in striking each other with wicked fists? Uh, are you striking each other with wicked fists this morning? Thus said the Lord, you're striking each other with wicked fists this morning. You cannot fast uh, as you do today and expect your voice uh, to be heard on high. Yo, your voice uh, will not hoard and be heard on high this morning. God is angry with Guyana. God is angry with this nation. In this kind of fast, uh, I have chosen only a day for a man. 
man to humble himself? A day for a man to humble himself? Are you ready to humble yourself? Or do you want God to humble you? Or do you want God to cut you off completely? He can cut you off if you refuse to humble yourself. Thus said the Lord God this morning. Is that what you call a fast? A day acceptable to the Lord, my friends? Yes, I call you my friends because I'm sorry for the people in this nation. It's not that this kind of fasting I have chosen. I've chosen the chains of injustice. Oh, the chains of injustice and set the oppressed free. Are you ready to set the oppressed free this morning? Are you ready to set the oppressed free? It is not to, to share your food with the hungry and to provide food, wandering with shelter when you seek to see the naked or clothe him and not torn away from your own flesh and blood this morning. Are you are you you're turning away? Yes, my friends, it is possible to fast with a look oh look me attitude. Look at me, God. See what I'm doing are you impressed this morning are you impressed this morning my friends oh then hurry up and do what I want God says hurry up and do what I want and learn this look at me attitude can be directed at other people I want to say something that God told me this morning he wants to remind you that hell is real and heaven is real this morning my friends in hell the worms die not and the, uh, the fire quench not for all eternity are you ready to make a new turn are you ready to repent of your, your sinful ways and your deceitful acts this morning and your wickedness because my friends God says to tell you hell is real this morning I fasted in my pious and seriousness aren't you Aren't you impressed this morning? The point of fasting is not to impress God or others this morning. The point is to be drawn closer to God and to others. Are you ready to draw closer to God and others this morning? By learning to love God and others more than you loving out of your own way this morning. Yes, if fasting just makes you grumpier, if fasting just makes you grumpier, if you bicker if, if and fight more than ever, are you bicker and fighting more than ever? It is fighting and fuming and fretting and fighting against each other. God is not impressed this morning. God is not impressed. God is angry this morning. I says God is angry this morning. If you choose to go hungry for a little while, but don't care about people who are who are hungry and malnourished, malnourished this morning. Oh, do no choice of their own this morning. Then our fasting offends God. Is your fasting offending God this morning? If you exploit employees and if you exploit people in high position and if you exploit people oh, by, by overworking and underpaying them, oh no, it's no wonder God doesn't send you blessing in response to your fasting. Yes, my friends, are you treating people bad? Are you harassing people this morning or oh, politically? Are you harassing people politically in this nation this morning? It's a it's a cry from God this morning. Oh God has heard the people cry. There has been great harassment in this nation. Unnecessary harassment when things could be so simple but just harassing people because of wickedness. If we ignore the plight do you like the table to turn the other way this morning? Yes my friends God says if we turn the table the other way will you like it this morning if we ignore the plight of jobless people and refugees we should be shocked when God ignore us. We should be should be shocked when God ignore us. God, do that God ignore you this morning, my friends. If we turn away even from our own flesh and blood, if we leave our family and relatives on their own, if we deprive our children of the time and love they need, if we abandon aged parents or to institution and uninterrupted loneliness, we cannot expect God to be our constant companion this morning. If we be a course to others, we can expect this for ourselves are your course to order this morning if your course to, to orders this morning you can never express expect the blessings of God this morning you can never expect the blessings of God this morning or oh, fruitful fasting this morning you must fast fasting should not aim to change God but to change us fasting should aim to change us this morning are you ready to change us from your wicked ways this morning are you ready to change from your wicked ways this morning the main goal of fasting is to bring us closer to God and more in tune with Jesus are you ready to come closer to God this morning and more in tune with Jesus what does it mean to be in tune with Jesus this morning my friends what does it mean to be in tune with Jesus one thing it means is to be in tune with his priorities set your 
your prayer just right this morning in Jesus' first public speech. He declared, my friends, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recover sight to the blind. To release the new press uh, to proclaim the year of the Lord favor or oh, Luke chapter 4 verse 18 and 19 I remember posting a, a, a verse like this 10 years ago and it popped up only yesterday and I want to say yes my friends uh, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because God has anointed me to preach good news to the poor he has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recover sight to the blind to release the press uh, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor yes my friends uh, if we tune with Jesus uh, we will want to be good news for poor people good news for people with disabilities good news for oppressed uh, and imprisoned people the main purpose of fasting is to get closer to God to get closer to God not to get your own wicked ways done not to get your own way and wicked deeds done and when that happens uh, it will create this in, in us uh, a hunger for justice uh, that matches God love of justice uh, Yes, my friends, it will create a, 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 a hunger for justice. Do you want a hunger for justice that matches God's love of justice? You can match God's love of justice this morning. Fasting shall move us to stand up for those who can't stand for themselves. This may mean standing up for people who don't have much money or political influence. Yes, my friends, you need me. me. This means standing up for helpless, helpless babes who are targeted for abortion. Standing up for tiny humans who are subject to embryo research, working and praying that God will change attitudes and laws so that the smallest may be protected from death. Yes, my friends, so that the smallest may be protected from death. Fasting must not be selfishly seek to change God and bring Him to in line with our wishes. Fasting must first aim to change us and bring us in line with God's wishes. Yes, my friends, and then that aim for God to change an unjust world to be more in line with his justice yes in line with his justice fasting must look beyond the personal relationships between us and God and consider our relationship with others this morning are you ready to consider your relationship with others this morning my friends instead of just fasting and praying for God to bless you let's fast and pray for the poor and oppressor fast and pray that God will change their situation and that he will change us uh, who have ignored or perhaps even helped because their plight uh, have you helped cause the plight of people in our nation this morning are you causing plight uh, in the nation this morning are you causing plight for the people in the nations uh, or are you ignoring the plights this morning ironically the more my fasting centers on me the less good it does for me this morning are you faster centering on you this morning if I focus uh, less on myself uh, and more on God on people in need, I will be blessed. Do you want to be blessed this morning? You can be blessed this morning. Oh, when we seek uh, for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, uh, his justice, uh, he takes care of everything this morning. Yes, my friends, uh, Matthew 6, 33 tells us, uh, when we hunger for justice uh, and work for the good of those in need, God promised in Isaiah 58, uh, oh, he says, uh, when your light, uh, oh, your light will break forth uh, like the dawn, your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will come quick, quickly appear this morning do you need healing this morning do the right thing over oh, he says uh, he's gonna heal you this morning then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of God will be your your, your, your rear guard this morning it will be your rear guard this morning and you will call and the Lord will answer and you'll cry for help uh, and the Lord will say here I am this morning. Are you hearing what I'm saying this morning? I listen to the words I'm preaching this morning. Yes, if you spend yourself, if you spend yourself on behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressor, oh, then your light will rise and the darkness and your night will become like the noonday this morning, my friends. The Lord will guide you, you always. He will satisfy your needs this morning. He will be like a well 
watered garden this morning, my friends. If you want God light all around you, if you want His blessing showering over you from above and the bobbing of like a spring within you, then seek for things to be made right this morning. Seek for things to be made right this morning. Things are wrong this morning. The people are doing wrong. Oh yes, my friends, get your get yourself in order, not just for yourself, but for others who need justice this morning. For others who need justice this morning. Is there justice in our nation this morning? Oh, we have a secret weapon this morning. Yes, my friend, it is clear that fasting and justice are connected this morning. It's bad to posture, oh, fasting without any connection for justice. Yes, it works together and it works hand in hand, but it's also a mistake to pursue justice without fasting it's a mistake to pursue justice without fasting to fast without any hunger for justice is to be a hypocritical is to be very hypocritical this morning but to seek justice without fasting it is well it will be ill, Ill, Ill equipped Ill equipped this morning fasting can be a secret weapon in the war against injustice are you hearing me this morning i repeat that for you this morning oh fasting can be a secret weapon in the war against injustice, do you want a secret weapon against against the war of injustice this morning? If you really love justice and want to fight it this morning, don't neglect one of your key weapons this morning. Don't neglect fasting this morning. Church people can afford social justice committees and concerned citizens can perform political action committees. You can raise money to help the poor and oppressor. We can march for the right of life or unborn babies. We can try to elect leaders who will uphold justice and these things are good. But when the last time did you fast it for justice? When the last time did you fast for justice? God ignores phony fasting this morning. Don't have phony fasting this morning. Oh, but that doesn't mean that we should fast. It means we should fast, fast rightly. Are you ready to fast rightly this morning with the right motives, with the right attitude, with the right purpose this morning? When you fast for justice, your own hunger rem reminds you of the desperate hunger for people in need this morning. You feel just a tiny sample of what that they feel this morning. You can care more about them as you identify with people in need. Your physical hunger are expressed. Your spiritual hunger for God and for justice to reign this morning. Don't neglect this secret weapon this morning. Yes, don't forget this secret weapon this morning. As you work and pray for justice, make fasting part of your arsenal against evil this morning. Oh, some champions of justice describe themselves as speaking truth to power speaking truth to power are you ready to speak truth to power this morning yes in our nation we need to speak the truth for power this morning yes we need a leader and we need a president who can handle the economy and who can carry this country forward right now this country need to go forward this country has to go to a place and a level where we need to have an economist where you need to have a person who understand how to run this nation yes my friends yes god is speaking this morning sometimes that can be progress uh, slogan of political activists uh, who like to complain about the, any policy that doesn't suit them this morning oh but let's uh, let's purpose uh, that is accurately described in what some people are doing my friends uh, some champions of justice uh, describe themselves as speaking truth of power sometimes they can be pompous uh, slogans of political actors I repeat that this morning who like to complain about any policy that doesn't suit them this morning are you complaining about policy that doesn't suit you this morning let let but let's justice uh, suppose it's accur accurately described that some people are doing this morning they are really are you speaking truth to power this morning are you speaking truth to power this morning that is still not enough this morning things will never change simply by speaking truth to power this morning when power has bad got gone bad when power has gone bad it takes more than truth to, to change it it takes more than truth to change it. when power has gone bad when administration has gone bad when leadership has gone bad when control is gone bad it's, go, it's gone bad this morning yes my friends when you lose control you have to accept uh, you cannot handle things this morning yes my friends when power has gone bad it takes more than truth to, to change it it takes more than truth to change it it takes power to change power it takes power to change power and fasting is 
one way to call on power of Almighty God against unjust powers and policies. Is there unjust powers and policies in our nation? Is there unjust powers and policies in our nation, my friends? For example, I go back to abortion this morning. Every aborted kills an individual human. The truth has become harder and harder to deny. And even most abortion activates, activates have given up uh, uh, speaking of unborn baby as massive tissue or the contents of ultra and as a result of conception my friends they have lost the argument about whether abortion destroys a human life yes my friends oh the more on and so of the song images we see they were scientifically informed we know we have about heartbeats brain function and a baby sucking the tongue in the womb yes my friends the harder to become to deny that abortion destroys a real baby yes abortion destroys a real baby most people now accept that this is true but the fact alone do not change behavior I say the facts alone do not change behavior many who grant that abortion destroy a human baby still wants abortion to be legal this morning they accept the truth of abortion by killing by ki baby killing but don't protect the babies what can explain this expect a bondage to spiritual forces of evil yes bondage of spiritual force of evil is there bondage of spiritual force of evil in our nation if we truly long for justice we must do more than speak the truth to power and prove the nature of injustice are you ready to speak the truth of the nature of injustice this morning we must also seek uh, God to the power to defeat the wicked prince uh, of unjust power Satan himself uh, we must seek uh, for God to make people in power more just uh, more just or else uh, or to remove them from power altogether yes my friends uh, you are you here when I say what I'm saying this morning we must seek for God to make people in power more just uh, or, or, or to remove them from power altogether if people are not doing a good job in power they must be removed Removed. Yes, God said they must be removed. If they're not functioning, they must be removed. Jesus researcher, Jesus teach us to pray. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is a prayer of our justice, my friends, for everything to be set right. Oh, when we pray that 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 and work towards that, we also fasted for that. Fasting adds urgency to our prayers for justice and effectiveness to our efforts on behalf of justice. Justice. Yes, on behalf of justice this morning. Are you hungry this morning? Are you hungry for justice? Are you hungry for the coming this morning? of the Lord ultimately if you're truly hungry for justice we hungry for nothing else that is set the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ only when Jesus comes again will all injustice be judged all wrongs be righted all our good people be made richer all your press be liberated and disabilities be healed all tears be wiped away all Satan forces be banished to hell and all the fight failing that the linger even in God's people be removed and our character be made perfect. Yes, your character can be made perfect. There's bad character in our world today that brings us back to where we started. This uh, this is this uh, oh, this message this morning on fasting. True fasting is all time form on all occasion. Is in the deepest level of a hunger for God. Are you the deepest level for hunger for God this morning? Are you the deepest level for hunger for God this morning? We're seeing in past, uh, old past, uh, that fasting is a scheduled pattern to earn God approval, but in force, uh, it's all simply a way to pursue closer fellowship with God and to show our desire for Him this morning. Are you ready to show your desire for Him this morning? Any regular pattern of fasting should have its, its have this uh, in its main aim this morning, in its main aim, in addition to fasting for full of fellowship with the Lord. The Bible shows occasion when it's fitting to fast uh, for a particular goal what is your goal you're fasting for this morning when you when you've sinned and are hungry for God mercy and forgiveness when we look on on old habits and are training for God's given freedom and self-control this morning are you praying for freedom and God's self-control or oh, when we face food challenges challenges and are hungry for God's help when we unsure of what our next step should be and are hungry for God guidance are you hungry for God guidance this morning and when we see the play pain and injustice around us the pain and injustice that heart hurting the heart of God and the angry and hungry for God justice all is hungry for mercy for freedom for help for guidance 
sense for justice as well as hungry for the Lord himself will be satisfied when Jesus comes again and see him face to face yes my friends Jesus will come again and you will see him face to face when Jesus walked the sword his disciples that did not fast the Lord was asked, asked why did his followers didn't fast the way the other religious fast people fasted Jesus answered how can the guests of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them and they will fast yes my friends in the he is calling himself the bridegroom Jesus was calling himself the Lord the prophet Isaiah has written your maker is is your husband the Lord Almighty is his name as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride so your God will rejoice over you yes my my friends, a bridegroom doesn't fast on her wedding day when she is with her bridegroom. Or if she, if her husband leaves and is away for a long time, she misses him. And when our Lord was on earth, it was time to fast with him, not to. It was time to feast with him, not to fast, my friends. Are you hearing me this morning? And now he has gone away to heaven. Fasting, fasting is fitting. Oh, when Jesus left, he sent his Holy Spirit. He sent the Holy Spirit to be with us. The Holy Spirit is a tremendous blessing this morning that links us to the Savior and that uh, uh, that what Christian experience of the Spirit now is just uh, a down payment my friends uh, a deposit my friends this morning on what we will experience uh, when Jesus comes again we will see him face to face uh, yes my friends uh, I say we will see him face to face uh, and God and God in all and in all and all and all through the Spirit uh, we taste of Jesus uh, we also miss him and long for him Jesus said that when the bridegroom was taken away his followers will fast and do you fast do you hunger and pray for him to come again do you hunger and pray for him to come again we need new white skin this morning my friends our fasting for Jesus to come again is different from the Old Testament believers fasting and hunger for God Jesus compared fasting to the old era of two wines old wine and fasting to the new era of new wine this morning are you hearing what i'm saying this morning do you understand what i'm saying oh which will require new wine skin yes my friends fasting for jesus coming and perfect justice is different but it is to be used my friends things have changed oh back then people of faith long for what they didn't have and now we long for more of what we do have Yes, my friends, we long for more that we do have. We have Jesus and we want more of him. Back then Jesus had not come and now Jesus had come. We know him as he is and we want him to come again. Yes, we want him to come again. Jesus already revealed God's grace has already paid the price for sin and broken Satan grip for on humanity, my friends. Yes, I said Jesus has broken Satan grip on humanity. He has broken Satan grip on humanity has already set in motion the powers of the age of to come yes my friends oh when oh hallelujah what's new about the fasting is that it rests on all the finished work of the bridegroom this morning oh the yearning that we feel oh for revival or awakening of deliverance some corruption yes awakening of deliverance some corruption is there corruption in our nation this morning? I don't have to answer that question, but you answer it for yourself. Is there corruption for in our country? It is a hallelujah. It's not me longing and aching this morning. The first fruits of what we long for have already come, my friends. Oh, the down payment of what we go for is already paid. The fullness that we long for and the fasting has appeared in history. We have be behold the glory. It's not merely in the not merely the future, my friends, but you have to behold the glory this morning my friends we have tasted the powers of the age to come and are you fasting in us but because we hungry for something we have not fasted we have not tasted oh but because of the wine of Christ's presence the new wine of Christ's presence is so real and so satisfying this morning isn't it satisfying this morning my friends isn't it satisfying my friends this morning the newness of our fasting is this the intensity comes 
comes not because we have never tasted the wine of Christ's presence but because we have tasted it so wonderfully by the Spirit and cannot now be satisfied until the communication of joys, uh, joy arise we must all be, be all that's all we have promised and as much uh, and as possible my friends uh, oh yes my friends uh, we fast to have such as as much of Jesus uh, and his justice as he give us uh, oh now my friends uh, and we fasted and prayed for him to hasten his second coming yes we fasted and prayed for him to hasten his second coming so that we will experience uh, him fully and enjoy the world where God will will is done my friends uh, perfectly in order and it is in heaven yes my friends uh, fasting is a physical expression of heart hunger do you have heart hunger this morning for the second coming of Jesus is your heart aching do you have heart hunger for the second coming of Jesus oh before Jesus first coming people long for the promised Savior to come and set things right and old widow's name I hope widow named Anna at well over 80 years old was a prophetess and had a special longing for the Messiah the Bible tells us that she worshiped night and day fasting and praying at God's temple in Jerusalem after Jesus was born his mother his mother Mary and Joseph brought the baby to the temple and there Anna saw oh saw one she had been fasting and praying for all these years she gave thanks yes my friends she gave thanks to God and spoke with the child to all who were looking towards the redemption of Jerusalem yes my friends if Anna was so eager for the coming of a savior she hardly knew how shouldn't we even be more eager for him to to come yes my friends we know more fully who Jesus is and what he can do and I met Jesus only as a baby but when we have seen his glory the glory of his miracles and teaching the glory of his death and resurrection the glory of salvation and the inner working of the Holy Spirit if you have truly tested any of this, uh, how can we not hungry for more, my friends? Uh, oh, bridegroom has gone away, so let us fast and pray for him to come back uh, so that the taste we have in him may be as a feast. Uh, yes, maybe as a feast, my friends, uh, so that the partial knowledge we have, have in him may become full, so that our experience of his love may be complete. Uh, yes, our experience of his love may be complete, my friends. Uh, oh, the rain is coming and the place is getting darker. I hope you can recognize and see me. Oh, hallelujah. Do you do, 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 do not fast and pray? Oh, come, Lord Jesus, in Revelation chapter 22, verse 20. Or you cannot, you content with business as usual. But you content with business as usual. It's not business as usual, my friend. Maybe your life seems to be going fine at the moment. The injustice that hurts other really don't really bother you. Yes, the injustice that hurts other don't really bother you. And as long as it's other people that you are suffering and not you, as long as other people are suffering and not you, you're not concerned. Is that your attitude? I says is that your attitude this morning. God is angry with that. God is not pleased with that this morning. You are indeed pearl. If you are not longing for Jesus to return you will not be ready for him when he does return you will not be ready for him when he return my friends this world is not our home we're just passing through where is your heart if your heart is sent on earthly things you will surely miss the rapture and you will cry bitter tears what you're looking for power power and position power and position and you miss the rapture with that phase where you spend eternity in hell where you spend eternity my friends but if you know Jesus and long for his justice you will pray without ceasing oh come Lord Jesus come Lord Jesus Jesus says blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for to God make him right make all things right for they will be filled yes hungry for justice is hungry for Jesus Yes, my friends, I say hungry for justice is hungry for Jesus. That hunger will be fully satisfied only when Jesus returns. When we say the Lord's Prayer and ask for God's kingdom to come, we are really praying for the King to come this morning. Yes, my friends, to those who long for Jesus and His justice for the King and His kingdom, the Bible promises, oh, your eyes will see the King in His beauty. Yes, your eyes will see the King in His beauty and view a land that stretches is far away my friends on just officials on unfair tax collectors 
brutal police and soldiers, cruel foreign foreign invaders will be over will be only distant memories. Oh my friends, New Jerusalem, all God's heart will enjoy peace and prosperity and with and, and all with the true, the truly right in the world, my friends. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king. He is who he who will save us according to the book of Isaiah, my friends. Isaiah 33 verse 17 and 32 my friends yes yes my friends for the Lord is our judge the Lord is our lawgiver the Lord is our king and he is the one who saved us this morning oh thank you Jesus Father God I give you praise I give you glory I give you honor I thank you for the message this morning hungry for justice are you hungry for justice this morning? I pray God will give you hunger for justice this morning. I ask in the precious name of Jesus. God bless you Richard this morning. I love you in the love of God. And God bless you. Have a great day in the mighty name of Jesus. And take heed from the word of God. Amen and amen.